And we're going to be talking a little bit about the weather as well. But it is a night for Diane and for the LLS, and we're going to be supporting that. So we're inviting all of San Diego to come out. Please come out and bring, please bring a lot of money. We'll talk about it all coming up. Speaking of money, here's Brandon Stone. Incorrect, but I still love you, Mark. Anyhow, coming up in sports, it is a sorrowful goodbye to not just a football legend, but an American legend. We'll commemorate the life of Jim Brown when we see in sports. So let's begin. Good evening, San Diego. This is Good Evening San Diego. Good evening, San Diego. I'm Hunter Sowards. And I'm Ray for Weigel. In for Logan Burns, thank you for joining us. Our top story at four, California State uh, Hospital contractor Liberty Healthcare is back in court proposing locations to house another sexually violent predator named Merle Wakefield. That's right. We've been following this for you. And KSI's Teresa Sardina might be following this story for us. The closest, Teresa, yet another twist and turn in the ongoing story. What are we learning? Good evening, Rafer and Hunter. Well, here we go again. There was a status hearing this morning for the proposed place for SDP Merle Wakefield and Liberty Healthcare has been trying to place him in the county for three years now. The court didn't get far this morning. The status hearing for the location will be continued, but one activist we spoke to today, she says get ready, he can be placed anywhere in the county. Liberty Healthcare once again proposing a location to house another sexually violent predator in San Diego County, granted by California Department of State Hospitals. 66-year-old SVP Merle Wakefield waiting for a location. Denied twice already in 2021 in Mount Helix and Borrego Springs. He has violent sex crimes against children and adults dating back to 1981. He served multiple prison terms and is currently housed at Colingo State Hospital. We are releasing these men into communities and, and you're, you're ruining everyone else's life too. Community activist Sarah Thompson of Kids Safe California and neighbors were a part of the successful fight to stop the placement of two SVPs in her Mount Helix neighborhood in 2021. Of SVP Douglas Badger and Wakefield, the two would have been living in one house. Look at our homeless veterans right now. I mean, that they can't even get, you know, homes. They're on the streets. They fought for our country and they are sleeping on the streets and we have these monsters who commit these incredibly horrible crimes that ruin people's lives. I mean, it's almost comparable like to murdering someone because for the rest of their life, their victims are suffering from what's happened to them. And then they're released into these neighborhoods and they say that they're monitored, but we don't know because Liberty doesn't talk to us. Thompson continues to work with state and local leaders and the Borrego SVP task force. I'm worried this time around that it's going to end up in another family neighborhood with several neighbors that have you know, children. And so um, it's a very scary thought and uh, why our system needs to be reformed. Liberty Healthcare reviewing addresses for SVP Wakefield. KUSI confirming Friday from the San Diego Superior Court, the longest serving judge, David Gill, is on Wakefield's case. The court is unable to disclose the proposed locations with KUSI at this time. Judge Theodore Weathers recently approved the Borrego Springs home for 80-year-old SVP Douglas Badger. Terry Kalmeyer, mother of three, says she will not have to face the nightmare and live across the street from Badger as he is ready to move in before May 24th because she moved out. Eight SVPs are currently housed in San Diego County in the areas of Borrego Springs, Campo, and Hacamba Hot Springs. Two are waiting for locations. Right now they're saying that Merle Wickfield is going to be released in San Diego. They won't tell us where because, you know, they're very sneaky about the situation. It could be Ramona, Chula Vista, like Poway. It could be anywhere. Today's proposed location hearing is now set for July 21st. And of course, we will keep you updated as when the court releases the location. Reporting in the studio, Teresa Sardina, KUSI News. All right, Teresa, we know you'll stay on top of it. This is certainly an evolving story. Thanks so much.